Hello and welcome back to Pop Culture Explosion. This is Paul and today I will be giving you my thoughts and reviews on Season 7, The Clone Wars. Now, for those of you that have like an interest in The Clone Wars, uh, especially the last season, but you haven't uh, watched the other seasons of Clone Wars, you don't have to. You don't have to get yourself caught up uh, for, to know what's going on. Uh, if you do want to dive into The Clone Wars, there is, you can Google this, there is a list of must-see uh, episodes of the Clone Wars, it kind of advances the story, uh, but there's just there's a lot of a lot of episodes that you don't have to watch. So, so my recommendation is do that. But um, before I could begin with my review, um, I've I've been a fan of the Clone Wars. Uh, I'm a fan of the Rebels, and uh, I have to say, watching watching Attack of the Clone Wars. Gives you a much different, gives gave me a much different perspective on the sequel to the trilogies. Now, I didn't Phantom Menace? There's not much saving that movie. Uh, if you enjoyed that movie, God bless you. I'm glad you did. I didn't. I thought Jar Jar Binks was extraordinarily obnoxious, and the Senate debates. I just thought, why? Now, I did enjoy Attack of the Clones, uh, and I loved Revenge of the Sith. And, and when you put those two movies and then you put the Clone Wars in between them, I, I just, I loved it. So, so you know, with that being said, let's get right into my review. So, we're going to talk about the good, the great, and the filler, okay? There were definitely three distinct chapters uh, in this season. Uh, the first four, uh, and that featured the Bad Batch. Uh, it also focused on, on Anakin Skywalker as well. Uh, I thought... You know, these rejected clones from their own party, uh, they they were very unique, uh, physically, mentally. Uh, they were just, <laughs> they were fun to watch. And my biggest question was, did they have the chip in their head and were they part of Order 66? Uh, I'm really hoping they're not because it would be so cool to see an older group of them, you know, especially doing like a, a surprise uh, showing in The Mandalorian. Not saying that will happen. I'm just saying that would be pretty cool. Uh, I thought that those uh, episodes where they're trying to save Echo was really good. And I was really happy that Echo decided to go and join the Bad Batch. Uh, nothing better than having a cyborg, you know, a, a Borg or <laughs> Borg implants uh, with the Bad Batch. Uh, the next chapter, uh, the next four episodes, I call them the Spice Girls. Uh, Ahsoka Atano. Uh, she meets up with these two young ladies. I, you don't have to watch these four episodes. I mean, they're, they're fun, they're entertaining, but they do not advance the story of this season at all. Uh, I would have rather have them done kind of different route than those four episodes. But again, uh, if you just want to get a real good snapshot for season seven, you don't really have to watch those four episodes. Now we come into the final four episodes and oh my god probably some of the best star wars i've seen in a long time uh if you just binge watch those four episodes it's the equivalent of watching a star wars movie um there are three characters that really stood out for me uh in in this season in, in these four episodes one is commander rex uh he has a very good friendship with ahsoka tano uh, Ahsoka Tano, oh my god, <laughs> she was amazing. Uh, and Darth Maul surprised the hell out of me. You know, when, when you look at Darth Maul um, in, in The Phantom Menace, he was not a developed character at all. He was basically an attack dog. Kill that, and then he would go kill it. Uh, in The Clone Wars, um, I loved his growth, his development, uh, especially towards the end. You know, we saw how powerful he was. We saw how cunning he was. And you know what? He didn't know what his master's plans were, uh, but definitely knew something was going on. You know, Commander Rex, uh, he's been featured throughout the entire season, series of the Clone Wars. And watching his character develop was just, it was so rewarding. You know, especially when, when Order 66 was uh, implemented, and you and you know the relationship between Rex and and his commander Ahsoka Tano. They're best friends. They love each other. And just watching him try to fight the order, just wow, oh my goodness. 
Uh, and then last but not least, we have Ahsoka Tano. Um, when we first met her in the movie Attack of the Clones, oh my God, I did, I did not like her at all. Uh, calling Anakin Skywalker a uh, sky guy. Oh my God, that was just so bad. She was just so annoying. Uh, she was up there, in my opinion, with Jar Jar. Uh, but as the season grew, or, 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 or as the season went, the seasons went on, uh, as she grew, we saw a level of wisdom, a level of maturity, and a real badass uh, Jedi. I mean, she, wow. Um, she, 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 you know, in Rebels, she fights Darth Vader, walks away, does not die from that experience. She pretty much held her own against Darth Maul, uh, and she held off a lot of the clones during Order 66. All in all, love this character. Matter of fact, uh, she would definitely make my top five favorite Star Wars characters. Now, now I'm going to end it with this. Uh, so in uh, Revenge of the Sith, we see the Emperor implement Order 66. What we see in the last four episodes of The Clone Wars is alignment between The Clone Wars and Order 66. And just watching that from her perspective made it so much more emotional. Uh, so th that being said, I highly encourage it. If you don't have time to watch the entire you know season of, of season seven, I strongly recommend you set aside two hours, binge watch the last four episodes of season seven and just view it like a movie uh it's on disney plus highly recommend it so uh with that being said i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh this this uh review if you can please smash that like button hit the share and you know for future content please subscribe so with that being said peace out